What is good, fellow dev guys? It's your boy Kane. I'm back with another tutorial. And if you've seen this title, I know you're tired of me doing first person arm tutorials. But I found the magic, baby. I don't know why I didn't find this sooner. You could rig an entire first person arms rig with just Rigify. And it gives you a solid. When I say solid, I mean these rigs are basically professional rigs. And you could do it. I'm gonna try to do this video in less than 30 minutes, but it, it might take a little bit longer than that because I have to explain some things. But let's just get started, but I don't know why I didn't find out about this. Um, so yeah, I've already set up the basics of a scene, right? So with the, with the first person um, first person scene, you wanna have your first person arms. You wanna have whatever weapons you're gonna uh, bind as well. And you wanna have your camera, which we'll turn this off right now just so we can see. We'll turn the weapons off too. These are some, uh, take a look at these. These are some, uh, some weapons that I created myself here. Looks pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn those off. But yeah, man, we're just gonna get started, man. The thing about Rigify is that everybody shows you, you add an armature, then you add the human meta rig, then you, you know what I'm saying? You move this around and get this all lined up. We're not doing that. Tor, uh, 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 I think his name is Todor. Very great teacher, man. Showed me some magical shit that I never would have thought of. You can rig using Rigify by using their building blocks. So let's do that. Go Shift A, we'll add just a single bone. Doesn't matter the size, because we're gonna go in edit mode and we're gonna delete it. We just need an armature to get started. So what you want to do is go and uh, let me join this for now. You want to go into, uh, and uh, this will probably be, this will probably be closed right now for you. I've been using it, so it's open for me. You want to go into the object data properties and you want to open up this Rigify buttons and uh, hit this little drop down so you can search for arm. And we're just going to bring in a limbs arm add the sample this is a beautiful thing it comes in already pre-named of arm l forearm l and hand l right so you just grab this whole thing just press l and grab it and you uh press g to grab press l to select i'm sorry press g to grab and you know kind of line this up just how you would do the normal um Rig setup, get this uh, lined up, get this lined up. Maybe lift this up a bit, straighten this out. Press seven to go to your top view and you wanna bring these forward. Uh, make sure you got a slight bend in your elbow there. Do that and we're gonna bring these back here. Line those up right, line this one. Um, let me go back to your front view. Uh, maybe this needs to be lifted up a little bit more. Yeah, like that. Put it right there. Put it right there. And I want to let you guys know how close we are to having uh, a completed rig. We're almost there. So select all your bones. And I'm sorry, I didn't do the fingers. The fingers take too long, man. It would have been an hour long video, maybe. But the fingers work the same way. You would just you would just go here and look for hand, uh, fingers. And you bring in the fingers and you take these and line them up to wherever your fingers are, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. Um, but yeah, so select your armature. You can either go here to symmetrize or you can right click and symmetrize, boom. So now you get uh, names. It's already named properly. It's already set up. Um, and we're there, we're, 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 you could say we're basically there. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a little bit more things, like set up the bone layer group so you can have a UI, um, color-coded bones, everything. Um, so now let's go out into object mode because I know you guys really wanna understand how to rig your weapon with Rigify. First person arms, you can probably figure that out. You know what I'm saying? You probably figured that out. But rigging your weapon, that's something that's not there. So let's turn on our weapon and you can choose either side. Um, I'm gonna just start with the left side and you wanna shift S and you wanna bring the cursor 
to this selecting selection and now um, select the armature and go into edit mode and let's uh before we move any further let's do this in front turn on axis uh and let's press shift a it'll create a bone right where you made that uh set that cursor up make this a little bit smaller press d period to kind of frame this up grab this and you know the bone rotates from this point so we want to set this up to rotate from its center right here um yeah uh rename this bone to a uh, weapon sorry my mic is right here i need to get one of those mic stands weapon.l and now you could um uh, right click on this and symmetrize now you got weapon bones ready to go so another thing we need to do is take these bones and parent them to the hand but first you need to go into tool press n if you don't know how to get there press n go into tool and turn on x-axis mirror right so you grab this you grab that press Control p and you want to make parent but keep the offset and it automatically does it for the other side um yeah we're in a good position right now we got a basic we got everything basically set up um what i do want to do is select all the bones and i want to move them to uh let's just move them to this layer and then we'll, we'll show that layer and we'll take this left arm bones and we're going to create some um we're going to create some uh layers and bone groups so go into the object data property tab and you want to drop down the uh, layer names tab. You want to add rigify layers and then you want to uh, drop down your bone groups tab and hit add standard. And this is basically the color code that rigify uses for all of its rigs. So and, uh, you can go in here, you can add your own uh, group. You can call this a weapon group and you can change it to whatever color you want. Let's just make it uh, whatever color that is. Peach. Apply. And um, yeah, we're, uh, we're going to take these bones and we're going to press M. We're going to move it into this layer. Um, so what just did it take both of my did it take both of my bones? Hold on, go up. Let's let's see what what the is happening. Okay, for some reason. Oh, okay, I know why. You want to turn off x-axis mirror for this. So let's um, take this, click the first one, press L, and we're going to move this back to uh, this layer. So now we just got this left arm on this rig. I mean, on this layer. All right, so now go into pose mode and um, select this top bone. See, uh, the thing about uh, Rigify is that the uh, the top bone inside of the uh, Rigify type will have this um, rig type in its arms. But you see that it puts the uh, FK, and I'll show you what that is. It puts the FK layer on this layer right here. We want to change that and put it right here. And it puts the tweak on this layer here, and we want to change it and put it on the third layer there. So all of our left arm stuff will be on this top layer and all of our right arm stuff will be on this bottom layer so we got that set up so now let's go and uh go back to edit mode and we want to show that layer that has everything and we want to take this and move it to layer number four because remember this is our arms this is our arms fk and this is our arms tweak bones so we move the move the left hand weapon to the fourth layer so now we can take these do the same thing move this to this bottom layer right here take this and move it to the fourth layer because we know we're gonna we're gonna do something with these two so go back to pose mode and uh go ahead and show this layer so that you can select this bone and go to the bone properties and that's you have to have this bone selected to see this screen if you don't have um like say you have this bone selected you won't see it because this bone doesn't have the rig type um uh like 
string on it. So we want to take this FK, put it right here, turn it off there, take this tweak, turn it off and put it there. Um, we're very close guys. I'm 10 minutes in. We're basically done. Now I'm doing the most right now. I'm going to show you guys also how to set up, um, the bone, uh, the, like the UI for this. So go into here and, uh, just enable these layers right here. Whoops, whoops. Yep. Okay. And now we could uh, go in and label our UI buttons. So this is the left arm. And here, this bone, which you can't see it, it says bone group. Since this is an IK control, this arm is an IK arm. We're going to put it under the IK um, bone group, which is red. And then here we got our left arm FK. And as you could have guessed, it's an FK group. So we're going to take it, put it in the FK group. And this is left arm tweak. Because it's tweak. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to do this and, uh, of course, put it into the tweak um, layer. And finally, we have our left arm weapon. Whoops, spelled that wrong. And we're going to take that and put it into our created weapon slot. We'll do the same thing for our right arm. Arm. Put this in. IK. Right arm FK. Go ahead and do FK. And. All right. Tweakers. Almost put the errors in there. Jesus Christ. Uh, tweak. And we got our right arm weapon. And this is, of course, our own uh, weapon uh, created bone group. And uh, I want to say that we're there. We're there, guys. So pose mode still. Go into this right here and you want to go to, oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go to this right here, this uh, object data properties. And you want to go into rigify buttons and you want to generate the rig. Boom. We got a rig, baby. Look at that professional rig. That's a professional rig. And I, I did something on purpose. I made a mistake on purpose so that you guys could see that you can go back in and make some adjustments, come back out, generate the rig and keep on moving. So here we're going to solo this by pressing slash key. We're going back into edit mode. You can see that these bones didn't have a rig property and that's because I didn't give it one. So select the bone, go into pose mode and you go into the bone properties and we're going to go to rigify type and we're just going to make this a, 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 a a super copy and what super copy is is that it just copies uh it creates a copy of this bone and copies the rotation or copies the transform it's basically like creating a, a duplicate of this bone and saying okay object constraints copy transforms and selecting the bone this is basically a copy transform so we want to turn off deform and make sure to turn off deform here as well uh, so we're going to do that for this bone as well. Turn off deform and make it a copy and turn off deform here. Now we can go back to this tab here and go to advanced option. Make sure that it's overriding and force this widget update and gener Oh, far, sorry. Hit a uh, slash again to bring back the original rig and then hit generate rig. And now you see that these bones are, um, you know what I'm saying, in their own little thing. Uh, where did my geometry go? I don't know why they're both, uh, why they're both there. Um, that's kind of weird. Oh, okay. It's because I did this already. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're just going to delete these, uh, just delete these and I'm going to bring in the same thing. I'm going to import that again because I did this before as a test to see if it worked. 
and I kind of already parented those there. So we'll take this, we'll move it forward. Uh, negative 0.5 and um, we'll shift D, shift D duplicate and we'll move one on the X 0.5 and then we'll move the other one negative 0.5 and that's basically where we were. Um, so now that you have everything set up, you wanna go ahead and select your mesh and you wanna select the uh, armature and press control P and we're going to parent this with automatic weights. So now if we go into pose mode and we grab this, you see that it deforms the mesh, right? But if you look, our um, weapon doesn't move the weapon. So what we have to do is uh, we got to go to object mode. We got to select this weapon. And this is specifically for melee weapons. I'll show you how to do it for a gun. Um, I don't have a gun, but I can show you the steps. So you want to select this, uh, go uh, and shift select the armature, go into uh, pose mode, and then make sure that this is the only bone selected and press control P. And you want to parent this to the bone. So now when we move this bone, the uh, object moves. So get rid of that. And we'll do the same thing, go to object mode, select this one here and shift select the armature, go to pose mode, make sure that that's selected and only this is selected and control P, parent it to this bone. So now this is a part of your rig and it follows the hand wherever it goes. You don't have to use child of constraints. You can just parent this bone to here because it's like the weapon bone basically. Um, the reason I put it out here is so that it has its own offset from the, uh, uh, from the hand. Um, yeah, so now you're probably wondering how do we do the camera or you had a camera in the beginning You go back to the armature and we can just go into uh, uh, Object mode then go to uh, I just could have went straight to edit mode um, But let's get out of here go to object mode select this armature not the pose molded one go to edit mode and uh Let's just move the cursor to the uh, origin and let's create a bone. Shift A creates a bone where we put it and we want to say, we want to move this top head to the cursor and then we want to just grab this on the Y and move it back. So we'll name this bone uh, camera bone. And this is simply so we can animate the camera inside of here just to give ourselves a feel. Um, and after that, you want to uh, go into pose mode and you want to give it, uh, uh, you can turn off deform. It doesn't need to deform anything. Um, give it a rig type of copy. Um, and turn off deform here. And I actually made a big mistake. Um, you just want to turn off the form right here, but you still want this to be a deformed bone so that when uh, it, it, it doesn't just uh, think that it's th this is a control bone. So I'm actually going to turn the form back on for these two bones because we're going to export this rig to a game engine, right? And, and the form bones get exported. Um, so go ahead and um, Go to object mode. I'm sorry. You, you want to go here and uh, regenerate the rig. So it'll give you a control for this bone right here. You can go ahead and put this bone on a layer if you want. I'm going a, I'm to a, uh, go to uh, edit mode. I'm going to just move it to this layer right here so it's not showing. And um, yeah, so now we got pretty much everything all set up. You go to object mode. You can... Uh, re have your camera show again um and you want to go into your camera object uh constraints you want to make it a child of the rig and the camera bone set inverse just in case and now why is it doing that why did it do that what did it just do uh 
camera bone, set inverse. I think I just did something to the camera. Ah, uh, okay. I, I guess it just moved this. Uh, uh, is this changing my, I feel like that's changing my field of view. Yeah, it is. So move that back to 90. And we actually want to, uh, we want to not select the camera anymore. Um, so now we got a, a complete rig here. First person rig with weapons. If I go here, press cert, uh, zero on my uh, numpad, I can go select this and go into pose mode. And now you see I could pose my character and get uh, the right pose um, for the hand here. Get the hand all cool looking, move this. Move this into the hand, maybe rotate it like this. Um, just have that there. It doesn't really matter because I'm not doing anything real, but you can see the FP arms is there, baby. Probably want to go to your camera and uh, can't select it. Uh, go to object mode real quick and go here and just put this on zero. 0 0.01 so it doesn't you know clip the geometry when it's close and then turn the selection right back off and you pretty much got your first person rig man everything's all set up nicely uh, you got a uh if i go to pose mode let me remove this um transform on here oops uh move it on here clear transform and uh, you pretty much got a nice rig, man. It's like it comes with a UI. If you go to item, uh, you can turn off and on anything that you want. Uh, if you just wanna, if you just wanna work on the arms, um, you can just do that. Uh, if we had the camera on the layer, we could turn it off so it's not visible to us. And uh, it's got FK to IK matching, which is you know, if I take this IK control. Uh, you can see my FK, uh, if I turn it on, you can see my FK is still right here, but I can match the FK to the IK. And um, it's a beautiful thing, baby. Um, you can match the, uh, if I turn on FK, you can match the FK to the IK. So you can match the IK to the FK. So now you can just go back and forth in between this. Oh, that kind of messed it up, sorry. Uh, I guess it's because my hand is all fucking weird, but yeah, uh, still got like, I still don't know how to do everything, but it's pretty much set up. Uh, my wife just walked in, so I finished at a good time, but, um, oh yeah, uh, shit, before I, uh, get out of here, let me show you guys a rig that I did with fingers. So we can open, don't save. Um... Yeah, so this is a rig I did with fingers here. See, it's got the fingers. Uh, I recently just found out that uh, I have bad, uh, my rolls on my bones are messed up. So I gotta go in and fix that. You can see they're bending weird, my fingers. But they work, and that's a very good rig, man. It's got good deformations. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, like, subscribe. Hit the bell notification. I probably do a video like every two weeks because it takes a while to figure this stuff out. And then I have to kind of learn it good enough to talk about it. So if you like the video, man, like like the damn video. If you like the video, like the damn video. But I'm, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm out of here, man. I appreciate y'all stopping by, watching this. Peace.